The contents of this video is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video I'll be showing y'all an app that I've been wanting to show y'all for a really long time and I'm not sure if I ever did but I don't think I have and I'm not sure why but I'm going to show y'all today. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right so the app that I want to show y'all today is the Eradicating Love app. This app is another Taito installer and it's pretty much exactly the same as Awu installer, Tinleaf and Tinwu. Now I made this app a good while back and it was a time I was trying to learn how to make my own homebrew apps and I used these files as reference and thanks to the homebrew community for the switch I was able to make my own app so I used the same files uh, just as a learning curve and I edited them uh, to my liking and added my own channel name and images so this was the first and only app that I made. I was really happy about it. And so here we are. Um, it functions just like the other apps I mentioned earlier. And it has the Wi-Fi install, the USB install, the PC, the SD card install. And my favorite, which is the hard drive install, where you have the switch on the dock and a hard drive connected to the dock and you're able to install from there so in my opinion it helps with space you can have your own shop of titles and install delete when you want so I'll be showing that as we go along pretty much at the end of the video but first let's go ahead and have these files installed on our switch so if you look in the description there's going to be several links and two of the links that you need uh, to download these files is going to be the one that says download Eradicate and Love app here and click on that, download it, have it to the desktop and the next app I'm going to offer in this video is the homebrew menu uh, NSP forwarder. The reason why I'm adding this file is because in order to use my app you need to use homebrew menu without applet mode. Now, most of you already know what applet mode is. It's pretty much using homebrew menu without the full access RAM of your switch. And in order to get out of it, you need to hold R on your Joy-Con and and over an installed game, and you'll be able to go into your homebrew menu without applet mode. But I'm adding this NSP forwarder here, so that way when you use my app. For the first time we're going to go ahead and install this NSP forwarder and you'll have the homebrew menu on your home switch home menu and when you enter this app it'll automatically go to your homebrew menu without applet mode so like I said I'll be showing that later on but that's why I'm adding these two files so let's go ahead and move forward once you download those two files from the description you're gonna have your SD card open already and the eradicating love nro is going to go into your switch folder and the homebrew nsp is going to go on the root of your sd card just like that that's pretty much it we are done here we can now exit out of our sd card uh inject payload back into our switch and uh, I'll see y'all when I'm there. All right, so here at the Switch Home menu, what we're gonna wanna do is go into our Homebrew menu by going into the album. So let's go ahead and click on Album. And here in the Homebrew menu, we can scroll till we see the Eradicating Love installer. Now, if you notice above my head, we are in applet mode. And just like I said before, the app is not designed to run in applet mode. But we're going to only run it for the first time here so that way we can install the homebrew menu forwarder and we won't have to do this again. So let's just go ahead and go into the Red and K Love installer and you should be greeted with this message saying that applet mode is not supported. And you may experience issues using this installer in applet mode. If you do have problems, try running the installer over a title holding R. So I mentioned that earlier. You can also enter. A homebrew menu without applet mode by holding R over an installed game but we're going to bypass that by installing the homebrew menu NSP forwarder so just go ahead and click OK 
And before we go through all the setup, let's just go to the, the top option, which is install from SD card. And then we're going to scroll through our SD card till we go to the homebrew menu or HB menu NSP. So just click on that with A. And it's going to say, where do you want to be installed to? We're going to want to install it to the SD card. It's going to say that it has invalid NCA signature detected. Don't worry about that. Just scroll to the yes, I understand the risks. And it's going to work just fine. So go ahead and let it install. You're going to get these random messages uh, pop up. So don't worry about them. Just go ahead and click OK after it's installed. And now we can go ahead and push the home button on our Joy-Con. So once we push home, we should have the homebrew menu um, on our Switch home menu. And uh, I have the other apps uh, blacked out because I get, for some reason, copyrighted for just having images now. But that's why they're blacked out. But the homebrew menu is there. Now we can go ahead and enter the homebrew menu and click your profile. Now when you enter it, it's not going to give you uh, the app mode on top. So now we're running with full access RAM. We can go into my app and you won't get that error message anymore. Now you can go ahead and use your or this app as however you want it. You want to install from SD card like we just shown from there. You can install over LAN with uh, the NSB USB loader. I think that's what it's called. And uh, install over USB with the same and the one that I said uh, that I like is install over USB hard drive So this will allow you to use any USB in any format so you can use NTFS and XFAT which XFAT is just fine So if you have a hard drive that's like 500 gigs or a thousand you can plug that in it should be able to work and Install for your games from there. So here on out. We're gonna go through the cycles of installing something uh, just so that way you can see how it works through uh, internet, USB, and the USB over hard drive. All right, so in order to use uh, the function of install over LAN or internet or USB to PC, we're gonna use an app called NS USB Loader. So if you look in the link in the description, it'll take you to the release page and you can just scroll down to you see the NS USB loader uh, 6.0 jar file. Now this is a Java script file, so if it doesn't open up for you, then you would need to install Java in order for it to work. All right, so after you have it on the desktop, we can just go ahead and double click on it and open it up. And the software should look like this. If you cannot open it and it says choose which file to open it, that's usually because you don't have Java installed and all you're gonna have to do is just go into Java and install it so I'll leave a link in the description you can scroll down here and download Java and oh, my head's in the way right there you go download Java and follow the instructions to install it that's if you don't have it so you want to try it first before you install Java and and mess up things on your computer but we are here with the NSUSB loader here we can actually have the app working with Wi-Fi or with USB uh, PC to to switch now I really can't show the PC to switch through USB because uh, then I won't be able to record my screen but we can do it through the net and that would be as good as it gets so we have the two options here we have Awu and Goldleaf. For this app, you're gonna to need to leave it on Awu. And sometimes in the settings, you're gonna to wanna to click on this, allow XCI NSZ uh, installations. So that's already checked off, so we should be good on that. But now on the switch, we can go upwards on install over LAN or internet, and it'll show that it's waiting for connection uh, with this URL address. So it's dot zero dot thirteen and now we should be good to go on that end and all you need to do next is add your NSPs. So let me find an NSP real quick. So normally I like to put in this game and you're just gonna drag it to the NSUSB loader like so 
and you're gonna click on upload okay my firewall was asking about my Java because I just installed it too <laughs> but there you go so now once you click upload on NS USB loader right above my head you're gonna notice that the switch has changed also and now you can go to your switch and install from there I think I already have it installed so I'm gonna do something else okay so the same process I'm going to back out of this go to install over with LAN and then I'm gonna click on upload you can uncheck and check the ones that you want so this will work with also updates like with smash I can install smash first and then the update and then I can have all the DLC and install them all at once so here I can have both games installed or I can just have one and there you go you see on on the app um, you'll see that you can install it so I'm gonna install to SD card and let it run its course now going through Wi-Fi will be a lot slower to install but you don't have to have it connected to the PC so I think that's fine but of course if it's a big game it's gonna take a long time okay so now we see that the game has installed I'm gonna push home and we can see that goat simulator had just installed so now uh, lastly I'm gonna just show the USB drive uh, hard drive install and you could use a regular USB on the dock or you can use a hard drive which I'm going to show so let me disconnect my hard drive alright so I have my hard drive that I'm going to plug into the dock of the switch like I said you could use your hard drive I think it go up to 1000 terabytes as long as it can read on the, on the dock it should be fine or you could use a regular USB that has a lot of gigs so FAT32 should work, XFAT should work and NTFS also so I believe my hard drives in XFAT or NTFS but it's one of the two so you can add more games to it so we'll see here if my hard drive turns on I think it needs time to register so there you go blinking light now we just gotta wait for the hard drive to kick on and I feel it moving so now we can go ahead and go down to install over hard drive and there you go now I'm inside my hard drive and I could click on NSP and here has all my NSP and updates and DLC and it's just at the convenience of my hard drive so if I wanted to now install um, another game I can just go ahead and click on this one or that one or this one this one and they will all install after I try but since I want to do a faster video I'm just gonna just do one and you see in the bottom it says press plus to install the files I'm gonna push plus and then I'm gonna install to SD card since it's through the hard drive through USB it should be relatively faster than Wi-Fi but of course it's different for the different size games and hard drives. Mine's not so uh, high tech. It's an old hard drive. Right, there you go. The app has been installed. Let's check it out. And now we have the two games that we installed one through Wi Fi, one through hard drive. And like I said, it's working just fine for me. And hope it works just fine for you. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. Uh, we were able to install through Wi Fi and I. I, I the same process is for installing over USB it's just you have to have the switch connected to the PC in order for that to work and I have a new uh, PC so you don't have to install any more drivers or anything like that if you are already set up with uh, the basics like with Tegra and installing that driver you should be good from here on out but otherwise that's the app guys if you want to give it a shot go ahead and download it uh, let me know if it works for you if you want to use it I know it's not as fancy as gold leaf or tinfoil but if you have means to make your own shop I, I think it's better because when the shops are down then you know it's hard to look for other resources 
So if you're able to find them yourself and have it at your disposable, at your disposal, then uh, I think it's a better deal in the end. So try it out. Let me know. Of course, thanks for watching. And how uh, y'all like my shirt? Check it out. I made this also last year, and I was going to do a lot more ideas and videos, but like had never happened either. So. Let me know how you feel about this. This is pretty cool, right? Uh, other than that, we're good. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.